They say every day is for the thief, one day for the owner of the house. But ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission, has reversed the role. It is now every day for the owner of the house. If you're involved in bribery, over-invoicing, or any shady deal, the day of reckoning has come. ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission, is watching you. If you're reported for any corrupt practice, you'll be investigated, prosecuted, and punished. Corruption is harmful to our nation. Join the campaign against it by reporting any corrupt practice to ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. Let me join hand with ICPC, make up the time. Break the chain of corruption now. Don't give, don't take. This message is brought to you by ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. The price of corruption has always been extremely high and no individual or nation is immune to the ravages of this cancer. In its bid to tackle this menace head on, ICPC pass one to an aspect of its tripartite mandate has developed and adopted an effective measure for enlisting and fostering public support in combating corruption, especially at the grassroots in Nigeria. This measure is known as a Citizens Engagement Forum. This is the area of our focus on today's edition. Welcome to Corruption Must Go, ICPC's weekly television program. I am Murna Barnabas Atiai. Also on the program, we shall bring you segments on drama, ethics and values, and many more. But first, Ruth Awodi is standing by with anti-corruption stories. Over to you, Ruth. Break the chain of corruption now. Don't give, don't take. This message is brought to you by ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. Thank you, Muna. Welcome to this segment on anti-corruption stories. For being in possession of fake medical reports from a Meitama Abuja District Hospital, a woman, Miss Inaku Victoria Oko, has been convicted and sentenced to two years imprisonment by Justice Ulukayode A. Adeniyi of the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Ms. Oko was brought before the court by the ICPC and accused of procuring a fake medical report in the name of one Aniuku Richard Chinonso, which was intended to enable him to travel to India for medical treatment. The commission in a four-count charge said that the convict also procured a fake chemical pathology laboratory report form in the name of the same Chinonso, which was intended to support a visa application that will enable him travel abroad. Ms. Oko was convicted and sentenced to six months in jail without an option on fine on each of the four counts. The sentences will run concurrently. Five suspected members of a criminal syndicate that specializes in duping unsuspecting job seekers with fake employment letters for a fee are currently being detained under the custody of ICPC. Jibrin Babagana, 42 years old, Ado Abdu, 61, Sabo Abdullahi, 52, and Salisu Abubakar, 35 were arrested by men of the Nigeria Immigration Service, NIS, in Kano and handed over to ICPC while Mohammed Rabiu Issa, 48, was arrested by operatives of ICPC Kano State Office for issuing scam NIS employment letters. Preliminary investigations have revealed that the suspects defrauded six persons to the tune of 900,000 Naira, by assuring them of employment at the cost of 150,000 Naira each. They have been granted bail by the Commission and will be released as soon as the bail conditions are met, pending investigations to unravel the full extent of their alleged crime before being charged to court.
The flagship initiative of ICPC for Citizen Volunteers Against Corruption, the National Anti-Corruption Volunteer Corps, has been inaugurated for Quara and Ocean States. The state chapters of the Corps were inaugurated after elections had been held and new executive committee members emerged. Speaking at the inauguration ceremony for the officials that will run the affairs of the Quara State Chapter for the next two years, the acting chairman of ICPC, Dr. Musa Usman Abubakar, who was represented by Mr. Mike Zoe, national coordinator of the Corps, charged them to see themselves as members of a sacred vanguard for the enthronement of good governance in the states in particular and Nigeria in general. Transparency and integrity must be your watchwords always. And don't forget that any volunteer who commits any criminal offense will be arrested and prosecuted by the commission. You must give your cooperation and loyalty to the officers, to the officers that will be elected here today to successfully run the affairs of the energies in your state for the next two years. God bless you all. Responding on behalf of the Quara State Executive, the State Coordinator Mr. Mohamed Ayinde Abdullahi promised to abide by the rules and regulations guiding the operations of NAVC. I assure the National President that inshallah we are going to work as a team to fight corruption in the state and we are ready to cooperate with you at all times and at all to open. And I want your doors to also be open to us whenever we call on you for any support or any action. The new NAVC requires that its prospective members be gainfully employed as well as being upright and patriotic citizens. That will be all on this segment. Corruption Must Go continues with Murna. Stay with us. The, this whole front section is uh, gone, so you need to replace the whole front. No, it's just uh, uh, the bumper that needs. Uh, no, 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 no. Let, let me be the judge of that. Uh, where else? Where else? The paint here is off, so you need to repaint the whole car. Uh -uh. Uh, the whole car. It's yes. just a scratch. That is the report that will be given to the insurance for your claim, uh, unless you. <laughs> Hello, FY insurance. Huh? Please, I want to complain about one of your inspectors here. He's begging me now. <coughs> Don't beg me. Uh, he's asking for a bribe. This corruption, not in my country. Bomba. Stop corruption now. Corruption not in my country. Uh, notwithstanding the limitations we observed in the enforcement uh, mandate, we've met some uh, innovations within the uh, commission 
that will help particularly in you know uh, realizing our you know enforcement mandate that is under the investigation uh, activities of the commission we have now made it lawyer driven you know process lawyer driven process by lawyer driven uh, process in the investigation i mean that at every stage of the investigation input of lawyers must uh, you know uh, be sourced so immediately we receive any petition we start with determining whether actually that petition is within our mandate or not that is pre-investigation uh, stage then during investigation we make sure that the lawyer is attached to the team of uh, investigators such that any legal issue that uh, you know uh, comes up in the course of their investigation uh, you know lawyer is always there to help and when the investigation is over we still need the input of lawyer who since he's the person that uh, will be going to court it is for him to vet you know the you know fetishes or not so you know this is one of the uh, things we introduce in, in the enforcement uh, you know area then okay go ahead um uh, then the preventive mandate as i said under section 6 a to f of the uh, scpc act we have preventive mandate and under the preventive mandate we actually uh, you know uh, brought a number of innovations to help in preventing corruption within the system we realized that actually you know preventing something is better than cure because uh, as far as we are concerned you know the the enforcement is like campaign after election if you like but this one you know is somebody you know uh, you know we are trying to prevent him from committing it If you're just tuning in, this is Corruption Must Go. The Citizens Engagement Forum is a platform designed by ICPC to engage the public at the grassroots by stimulating dialogue among them on the ills of corruption using their own language. It is also aimed at inculcating the virtues of integrity, accountability and transparency in the citizenry. To achieve this objective, the Commission recently visited five local government areas in Ocean State, namely Ife Central, Iwo, Ife Lodun, Olorunda, and Ayedadi. At Ife Central, the Commission's acting chairman, Dr. Musa Usman Abubakar, who was in attendance, noted that corruption does not exist only within the corridors of power and as such, there was the need for a joint effort by the entire citizenry to fight the problem of corruption in Nigeria. We believe that it is only through the concerted effort of all stakeholders that Nigeria can overcome the scourge of corruption. It is well known that corruption poses a serious challenge to development in any society. In Nigerian public and private sector, corruption has become endemic and its devastating impact on the nation's development is felt at all levels. To root out corruption, therefore, grassroots participation in governance is necessary to promote accountability and transparency in government activities as well as engender good governance. Speaking at the event, the Oni of Ife, Oba Ogunusi, who was represented by the Wasin of Ilare, His Royal Highness Zakios Olashode, called on the entire Yoruba nation to kick out corruption from their midst, noting that government alone cannot do it. The head of Public Enlightenment Department and spokesperson for the commission, Mrs. Rashidat Aduni Okodua MNI, who represented the acting chairman during the event in other local government areas and joined the citizens to rise up against corruption, saying that their participation was essential to waging a successful fight. To root out corruption, therefore, grass 
grassroots participation in governance is necessary to promote accountability and transparency in government activities as well as engender good governance. There is no denying the fact that active interest by the local people in how their funds are used and how decisions are made by public officials contributes a great deal to the development of the community and its positive impact on the people's well-being. This involvement by the local citizens keeps government officials on their toes and conscious of their ultimate accountability to the people on whose behalf they exercise power. Welcome back. The event in the various local government areas witnessed a large turnout of participants which included traditional rulers, council chairmen, heads of local development areas, councillors, security personnel, market women, members of the National Youth Service Corps, students as well as members of faith-based organizations. All the local government chairmen were in tune with ICPC as they took turns to speak against the devastating effects of corruption in Nigeria while pledging to join in the fight against it. The Ocean people took the opportunity to make various complaints and suggestions on how to improve the anti-corruption crusade. Corruption not in my country. Okay, I'll have that credit to account shortly. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, can you smoothen this edge? Uh, something is not properly done. Ah, uh, okay, no problem. <laughs> we'll go do that. Okay. Uh, okay, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, uh. Money don't come now. Make you go buy cement. No, more continue, more continue. I know understand. We need more cement now. Carry sand, put plenty sand, mix sand, put the cement. I don't finish. Make by right? Let's do this thing right. Me, 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 me. Wait, 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 did they give me? What is make by make by? See, listen. The money credited to my account is not for cement, oh. It's, it's my own, my own. Even you, you have a share in it. Me, I don't take such share. Ah, okay. I know they take. Okay. okay, don't take. All this building collapse where they happen here and there. Now this kind of attitude, now in the course I'm on, when I am called to do mago mago, I say no to it. It is corruption. Not in my country. Stop corruption now. Corruption not in my country. Break the chain of corruption now. Don't give, don't take. This message is brought to you by ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. Corruption not in my country. Welcome to Studio Airline. Oh, thank you. Uh, please, we need a um, ticket to Abuja. Abuja. Yes. Oh, so sorry, sir. The seats are fully booked. Hello, ladies. Oh, good day, ma'am. How are you? Very well, thank you. Please, I need a ticket to Abuja. Oh, sure. Forty thousand man. Okay. Here. Excuse me. Abuja. Abuja. Yes. But you people told us that tickets are finished. Are finished. Abi? When you asked for tickets, there was no tickets. Exactly. Mm. So this is what you people do. You hold tickets and use them for your private business. This is the same reason why when we get into the flight, half of the seats are empty. empty. Oga, you can call Minister of Aviation. Excuse me. So this is what you do. You are tickets for your PP, 
This is corruption and not in, in my country. Stop corruption now. Corruption not in my country. There is no denying the fact that active interest and participation by local people on how government funds are expended and how decisions are made by public officials on issues affecting the general society will contribute a great deal to the development of the community and impact positively on the people's well-being. It is therefore this pivotal role of citizens that ICPC is underscoring as a galvanizing force for entrenching integrity in governance and the restoration of values in the society. That's our package for today. See you again next week. Bye for now.